What, what do we got in the, what do we got in the little travel humidor over there? A whole bunch of shit. A whole bunch of shit? Yeah, a little Casa Cuevas, a little Monte Cristo. Okay. The okay. wise man up in there. Okay. Real I feel man. like I want a cigar. Yes. But, uh -huh. I feel like I don't want to smoke for two hours. So what do we do? I think I got a plan. What's up? What's that? These are cigarillos. Okay. Otherwise known as Cubanito. That's right. And this was a, a purchase. Subscri subscriber. Yes. 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 <laughs> subscriber request that we do a cigarillo episode. Yes, we was like, hey, Scar Titans, um, how about y'all do an episode on cigarillos? And so on Facebook as well, I've been seeing a whole bunch of things about people talking about, hey, I don't have time to smoke a full Turo Robusto right. or even a Petite Corona type cigar. Yeah. What can I smoke and still be able to enjoy the cigar experience? We got you. This episode. You ready to get started? Let's give it to them. <laughs> you ready? It's a live audio, uh, live show. It's, it's a live studio audience. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so when we say something funny, you just clap. <laughs> Got him all, all kinds of worried right now. Remember when the wife comes, she stares right at us while we were trying to film another stuff. All subtle too. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. So like we said at the beginning of the episode, this week we are doing a subscriber request. Yes. And we've got a couple different variations of a cigarillo on the table. And he also asked us to smoke it in real time. Okay. So we are going to try and do this video okay. in real time. So the, uh, just a heads up. Yes. The video may cut out at a certain point. I may have to stand up and restart the video depending on like the length of the video clip. So that would be the only cut then that should, we would should, have to do. Should we do a timer and put it on the table? We could do a timer. Let's I think a, that, yeah. Let's do a timer. I think that would be better than letting a video go out for 40 minutes. Nobody wants to just see us sitting there quiet. And shoot the shit. Awkwardly okay. smoking our stogies. So when we, when we fire it up, we will set the timer. Clock, timer. Let's see how long it takes us to finish the cigar. All right. So brother stogie. Yes. What brand of cigarillo do you have? So, I went and got the Arturo, Arturo Fuente Cubanitos. Okay. And it says actually Cubanitos or the thing. What you got? So I've got the Sweet Jane uh, by Deadwood Tobacco. And this is the Cigarello version of the Sweet Jane, which normally comes in a petite Corona size. Yes, so we want to get, get different brands of the Cubanitos to let you guys know that you can have the your sweet version if the lady wants a little Cubanito or the man version for Arturo Fuente. That's right. And for those out there fighting because man versus woman shit, the woman can smoke <laughs> Arturo Fuente too. That's right. Well, let's get them cut up All right. and get them lit. So Brother Stogie. Yeah. When would be a good time to choose a Cigarello over a standard cigar. Shit, when, 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 when wouldn't it be <laughs> a good time to choose it? So, if you have work, right, and you only get an hour break, yep, and need to eat lunch, yep, but you want to have a cigar at the same time, cigarillo. If you at your girlfriend's party with her other girlfriends, right, and right. you're the only dude there, <laughs> but you know it might not take that long, right, cigarillo. That's right. If you at the club, at the club. For those who club, in the club. You can find me in the club. Bottle full of bub. Mama, I got what you need. If you need to fill a buzz. But a cigar takes too long. Right. Cigarilla. Cigarilla. So, do we have a consensus on whether women prefer to smoke cigarillos versus more men preferring to smoke cigarillos? What do you What do you think the breakdown is? Out Honestly, there? I don't think I've ever seen a dude purchase a pack of cigarillos. 
Well, now you've got two dudes who just purchased a yeah, couple two packs. Yeah, two, two motherfucking titans. <laughs> and he purchased right. two Cigarillo packs. Actually, you know, full disclosure, this is not the first Cigarillo pack that I've purchased. I've actually purchased the Sweet Janes before because I found that actually this particular cigar tastes exactly yep. like a Sweet Jane, and it takes roughly half the time. Exactly. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I like. It. I mean, the flavor notes. Some I was picked off part twelve with the in its full size. It's burning nice, nice little burn. Check it out. Ooh, there you go, right there. Oh, oh, show me, you mean? Oh, got it. Got it. Right there. Yeah, there right you there. Boom. There it is. So nice, clean, burning line, performance. This is because I rip our 1220 in its full length. Right. Smoke output is good. Yeah. Nice earthy, soft earth tone. I don't think the flavor notes are as strong in a cigarillo okay. as they are in a full size Vitola. Well, this being true to form is smoking like a chimney. So just like the Sweet Janes or the Fat Bottom Bettys, the Crazy Alice, the Leather Rose, all those bad bitches. This one smokes. Not the bad bitches. Know, like the bad bitches. This okay. one smokes like a chimney. And actually, when we were out in Miami and uh, we were over at Empire Cigar Lounge and we were out there with Luis Cuevas and his beautiful wife, Denise, mm -hmm. we were actually talking a little bit about this. And uh, Denise actually shared with us that the way cigar manufacturers get the smoke to pour off of the foot, the way you kind of see it here. Okay is by soaking the tobacco leaves in mineral water. Oh. Yeah, so so it's a trick. It's it's strictly for show. It actually has nothing to do with the way the leaves are grown or cured or anything mm. like that. It's simply them being treated with a form of mineral water and this actually makes them smoke more profusely. Okay, that's a nice, nice little tip right there. So, when wouldn't you do a cigarillo? I think when you wouldn't want to do a cigarillo is maybe when you have more time. If you're going out to a lounge, I don't know that I've ever seen anybody in a lounge sitting there smoking a cigarillo. Usually when you've got the time and you're a cigar smoker, you're going to take the time and you're going to enjoy a full cigar. Man question. Got oh, okay. This is going to be good. Man question. You this ready? Is be good. I'm so ready. this, fellas, is a cigarillo. Yes. Women, if you watch them, pack of cigarillos. Do you, as a man, who might be introducing a fine lady to the world of cigar smoking, do you, your, as a man yourself, do you purchase a pack of cigarillos to demonstrate to your lady how to smoke a cigar? I actually think that's a pretty good idea. It's a great introduction or a way to get somebody who maybe isn't normally a cigar smoker into trying out a cigar for the first time because you don't have to put in the kind of commitment and the time to smoke through a large cigar. And quite okay. honestly, if they don't finish it, it's really not as much of a big deal than when you're buying a $15, $20 stick, somebody takes a few puffs off of it, they put it down and they don't finish smoking it. So, but are you as the man, right? do you buy a full size cigar for yourself? Yeah. And then a cigarillo's for the ladies? I think you could go either way. I think you could buy a full size cigar if you want to sit there, but I think it comes down to the time commitment that you guys both have. If she's new to this and she just wants to join you at a lounge and maybe just try something out mm -hmm. and then get out, then I'd probably recommend you both smoking a cigarillo. But if you've got the time, she doesn't mind hanging out with you and she understands that she's probably going to finish mm -hmm. well before you do, then yeah, enjoy so a full cigar. Is that the same? Like say, say you ride Harleys. It's vibrating up into my shoulders. Okay. And you go into a Harley. I don't. A Harley like club, <laughs> right? Right. But your lady don't ride, but you want to show her the experience of riding the Harley club. You put her on a vest. So to appease her, no. do you pull up to the Harley event uh -huh. on a spider motorcycle? A little small one. Okay. Like pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> this should show her. Is it, I mean, is that kind of like the same? I mean, because you bring in the lady into a cigar lounge right. where all fellas right. smoke cigar. Yes. Side 52, yep. 54, yep. side 60 re engage. Yep. 
six inch, the seven big, and a half inch. Big dogs. You know what I'm saying? So yes. do, do you tone it down for the ladies? I don't think you have to. I think listen to what she says. Ask the right questions, listen to what she has to say, mm -hmm. and get her something that you think she'll enjoy. Okay. I think from a time commitment standpoint, these are perfect. But I don't think that you have to give a lady a cigarillo. I don't think you have to give a lady a flavored cigar. I think listen to what she has to say. If she's truly interested in learning more about it, she's probably going to be open to more options. That's a perfect segue into a topic I want to cover. Okay, was that was that the whole plan? Is to kind of lead into no, this? but the way you said it it, 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 it kind of brought some shit out. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So I'm, I go on Instagram and everybody's been going live. I don't know because of the pandem pandemic, everybody's going live, or just because people just want to talk. Right. But there's been a topic on Instagram about women and cigars. I'm listening. Okay. So the thing was, if I remember properly, the women of the cigar society are getting upset. Okay. Because they say when they go into a brick and mortar shop, someone is offering them immediately off the bat flavored cigars. Right. Instead of saying, or instead of assuming that she may be an aficionado and she can handle an Arturo Fuente Sun Grown Rosado like one of us would. Right. I think it's the same way. So I think out of respect, someone might not necessarily offer a flavored cigar, but they will want to automatically offer some milder. Sure. And I say, if you want a double Chateau, a double Maduro, some right. Lajero in your life, right. just speak the hell up. <laughs> I agree, 100%. Don't go into a lounge all quiet and you know you're an experienced cigar smoker and then you wait to see what somebody's going to offer you. I think at that point, Go in there and tell the shop owner, the tobacconist, the man running the lounge or woman running the lounge what you're into and let them make a decision for you. Let them offer you different selections. Exactly. Don't don't be that person where you go in there, you, you flutter your eyes and you go, I don't know what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it's right, but you know, you gotta. You got, if you know what you want, you know what you like. You've got a. You've got a particular palette profile. Then don't don't hesitate to say that. Don't don't put somebody under the spotlight just because you're looking to call somebody out. You know, we, we said before. We said it on different episodes as well. You know, if you go to a cigar lounge that we've been to, and you run into a tobacconist that knows what he's talking about, he's gonna ask the right questions. Yes. Right off the bat. 100%. You know what I'm saying? My boy, my boy uh, Richie at Culebra. Yep. You go on there, you want a cigar, he'll ask you, well, what do you like? Yep. What kind of foods do you eat? Yep. You drink coffee or tea? 100%. Like, oh, well, what would you ask me these questions for? Well, I mean, these are the kind of questions you need to know to be able to tell what kind of palate you have for exactly. the cigar that you're going to choose for that evening. Right. It's just the same as if you're doing wine tasting, mm -hmm. right? If you're, if you're a wine connoisseur, do you like heavier foods, meats, red meats, things like that? Or are you somebody that's more on the lighter side, like pastas and things like that with, you know, Alfredo sauce? Like, what what is your palate? Mm -hmm. And then we'll match something up to that. Yes. So, in the end. Yes. Speak up. Speak up. Same thing with dating. Speak up. Speak up. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't ask us what you want to eat. <laughs> and, then, and then when we say what we want to eat, you say, well, I don't want that. I feel. You know what I'm saying? And then I say, okay, well, well what do you want? I well, feel, I don't know. Whatever you want. I feel then, like daggers coming your way. Like, I'm going to have to do some matrix. <laughs>11 minutes in. 11 minutes in, and I'm probably about halfway through already. Uh huh. So I'm going to assume that this is probably going to be close to a 20 minute smoke. 
So, this right here, the Arturo Fuente Cubanito, 10 packs in one 10 can. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of find, I found the breakdown on this specific Cubanito. Okay. So this one is, let me see. Considered a medium cigar. Shape, it says small cigar. Small cigar, okay. So not a pyramid, torpedo, none of that. It's small cigar. Makes sense. Okay. Because they are small. Size is four and one quarter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> By 32 ring gauge, country is Dominican Republic. The color is natural. The wrapper origin is African. Okay. And the wrapper leaf is Cameroon. Okay. Makes sense. Right? So, no notes on the website about flavor notes, but flavor notes is just very light, super light earth. I think it's maybe a mild cigar instead of medium. They can smoke a couple of these and, and be all right. So what do you think a step up from a Cigarillo is in terms of size? I think maybe that Nub series where you had a four and a half okay. by 60. Or if you're, if you're trying to keep the same time frame, <laughs> my favorite, the pipe. Yeah. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You run, you smoke a pipe, I can keep the pipe going at the most about 45 minutes. Okay. A couple of retouches maybe, but if I pack it real good, I get about 40, 40, 45 minutes off one pipe session. Like it. Yes. So now, when you're looking to buy cigarillos, you have, you have some selection, right? Yes, you do. Just like you would with any other cigar. Yep. They make quite a few. A lot of companies make a lot of different cigarillos. So I went to the Old Town Havana yes. in Orange County, and they actually had a nice selection. So they had the Arturo Fuente Cubanitos. They had a Cohiba, a couple Cohiba packs for the Cubanitos. They had some acid cigars in the Cubanito size. And of course the one you got there, that's from Cuerva Lounge in Ontario. That's right. So if you go, if you haven't looked, usually keep around with the smaller cigars are sometimes around where the infused cigars are but they're not infused they're just specialty small cigars so if you're looking for them just to save some time take to work keep in your truck ain't got enough time we got a party want to step out don't want nobody to come with you you don't want to share you don't have to it's 10 but they are yours keep it to yourself yep so brother stogie yeah i am just about done with this one it's starting to heat up quite a bit What's the time for me on this cigarilla? Oh, let's see. Get him dead. Let's see. Go to the clock. We are at 19 minutes and 30 seconds. It's about what I expected, about a 20 minute smoke. Yes. And of course you can smoke this down even further if you'd like, uh, but it is getting a little bit warm. So this is around the time where I would end it. Oh, telling the truth. Yep. 19 seconds. 19 minutes, 45 seconds. How's yours coming? It's good, man. Burn still good. Can't complain. Now I'm having a pigeon now. <laughs> I think yours may actually be just a tad bit thicker than the Sweet Jane. No, I don't think so. Okay, maybe it is. Yeah, just a little okay, bit. Okay, it's a little better, but I've been ta I talk a lot during this show. <laughs> well, that's kind of what we do. <laughs> that's kind of what we do. So I hope y'all enjoyed this episode where we kind of showed you Cigarillo or Cubanitos versus a real size cigar. Yes. Real size, small size. That's right. Two hours, 20 minutes. That's right. All right? So we got you. Give you some options so you know what to do. If you're a beginner and you want to try a Cubanito and not try something that big so you and your lady or you and your new time homies want to smoke. <laughs> I don't know if I was smoking a circle of homies with Cubanito. Right. Here, bro, here. Boom, right there. That's not the type of small cigar I'm going to pass around. Yeah, and this is also not the type of cigar or cigarillo you would want to cut open, gut, and use to repurpose for something else. No, if you want to do that, Go back two episodes, watch our <laughs> gas station cigars part right. three, and you will find plenty of options yes, for how to repurpose. Much, much more cost effective yes. options. You'll find better ways to repurpose gas station cigars, <laughs> repurpose what y'all want to repurpose it for. Right. And maybe you just want to put different tobacco in there or something. Yes. Not pipe tobacco, not tobacco tobacco, <laughs> but the green tobacco. <laughs> so, if you're new to our channel, do us a favor 
and subscribe. We appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. We appreciate, appreciate y'all <laughs> coming along and join us for this ride. Thank you. We appreciate it. All the new subscribers that have subscribed lately within the past four or five videos. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Titan Fan. Remember, we premiere our videos every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yes. Come and join the chat. Talk with all our folks. Yeah. We had a good one going last week. We did. That was good. Come join Adam Wolf, Scarhead Fred, yeah. Darshawn Wood, not Darshawn Wood. <laughs> Darshawn talks too much shit. Darshawn. Nah, Darshawn. Hey, <laughs> Y'all watch Darshawn on his chat. All right, he talks a lot of shit, but he means good. All right, Nick Nail, welcome. Daryl Hampton, come join us, man. That's right. King Ray, we love y'all. That's our Titan Lounge at 4 p.m. on Sunday. That's right. Do us a favor. Like the damn video. If you came by and you watched the video, before you leave, like the video, okay? <laughs> if we got 700 views, we want 700 likes. We appreciate it. Right, exactly. We're not going to ask it for too long. You know months. what I'm saying? That's it's it. an extra step. Before you leave. It's you know, just an extra it's step. It's like you go inside the house and you wipe your feet before you step on the door. Right. Before you leave our house, like the damn video. <laughs> Ring the bell <laughs> so you get new notifications every time Cigar Times post a new video for y'all. Until next time, live how you smoke, smoke how you live. And that's me, baby. Oh boy, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>